All right, let's get it, 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 let's get it. As one crook shanking, one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Let's get into this. Let's just dive into, right into it. Recording this, February 1st, 2024. And it came out, became public information that the NBA has officially incorporated a 65 game rule in which if you plan on being an all-star planning on making or not an all-star but if you plan on i believe making the all nba team or winning mvp or any one of these awards that so many people spend so much time thinking about if you would like to win one of those awards you as a player as an nba player you have got to play all 65 games first and foremost initial reaction is just a, a stint clapping with two hands great job adam silva i'm happy that you actually instituted this all right so let's dive into some of these complaints that the players have made and this this is this is what's so ridiculous this is why i made it i remember last year around this time i made a video in which I titled the NBA is actually becoming unwatchable because of this kind of bullshit, because of the fact that the players have the audacity, have the audacity, making hundreds of millions of dollars, and you have the audacity to call a rule in which you have to play 65 of your games stupid. That is the oh, that is so ridiculous that I, I can't even put into words how ridiculous it is that any player would even consider saying anything like again if you don't like the rule if you're really hurt and all that kind of stuff okay you can't play understood 1000 percent. but the fact that you would even complain about a rule in which you have to do your job it's your job to show up to fucking games it's your job to play all 82 games you're getting paid to play all 80 getting played handsomely to play all 82 games and you have young kids young players who look up to you they look up to you whether they make it to the league or they don't they look up to you and they want to know do can you do your job do your job to show up for the fans all right not about the damn owners show up for the fans that pay their hard-earned money that bring these prices up so you can get paid that hundred million dollars all right there's so much i mean the fact that you would even be upset at the at a 65 game rule the fact that they even have to make a 65 game rule is ridiculous in my opinion you should be offended you should more so be offended at the fact that they have to make a 65 game rule that's how ridiculous this shit is. And that's what money does to some people. And, and with all that being said, let me give you this story because I, I didn't even plan to go on that rant, but I had to get that off my chest, seeing some of the, the reaction from the NBA players, all right? It was this past weekend. It was in this past weekend. I was at a I was at a Panera getting some work done. I believe it was Saturday. I believe it was this past Saturday actually. I was right there on it was the Panera on Donald Ross Road, which is a very affluent part of West Palm Beach, right? And I was at this Panera and there was a lady who, like before I sat down at the table, there was a lady who was sweeping up, she's sweeping up the She's sweeping up the carpet. She's making sure the tables are wiped down, making sure everything is nice and clean before I actually sat down in my spot to, to get my work done or whatever. And, you know, I, as an individual like me who understands that, who's done that in the past and has, you know, seen things from the bottom up, who appreciates the people that do those little things, I thanked her. I thanked her and we had a great conversation. It's, and it's in this conversation that has me thinking about how certain players, you know, money just completely ruins them and that kind of shit, right? So, <laughs> you know, we, we had a conversation and one of the things she said was there was, she kind of thanked me for thanking her because apparently, especially in that area of West Palm Beach, you get a lot of snobby people, right? So, she thanked me and she gave me this story that I want to retell and kind of bring to you guys so you guys just get some perspective on what it what you have to do you have to do your job you have to do your job it's it's important to start doing your job I don't care how much money you make it doesn't make you any fucking better than anybody else just because you got more money than another individual it doesn't make you any better all right because this is what she told me she goes uh, she goes so there was a lady I don't know if it was a lady or a male who said to her while she was sweeping up apparently I was, she was sitting right in the spot where i was sitting and there was a, a situation where she got into a back and forth with uh with someone who was sitting there and she's cleaning up and she may be distracting the person while they're working whatever and the person goes hey i have to do my job and they looked at her and they they got kind of testy when they said that and she looked right back and she says look i have to do my job too <laughs> she said, i have to do my job too i don't care if your job is bringing in millions and millions of dollars i still have to do my 
my job to make sure this spot is clean. And that's what that hopefully every every, every player that keeps up with my work regularly, every business owner that keeps up with my work regularly can understand that everybody has a damn job to do. And if you're a player that has the that isn't that is not offended at the fact that there's a 65 game rule, if you're not offended by the fact that they have to put that rule in place, then that's a problem. All right. That's a problem. And we need to we need to root that kind of bullshit out of the system. And hopefully, you know, again, Hands got to give got to give a standing ovation to Mr. Adam Silver for, for making sure this gets done. And, and hopefully it, it hopefully there's going to be a crop of players that understand this and they have the mentality of, OK, I got to take care of my body and I got to make sure I'm playing all 82 games. So hopefully there's a group of players, a generation of players that makes it so we want to just make it so they don't need to have the 65 game rule anymore because we all want to you know get up to 80 and 70 we want to at least make it so we're at least playing at at least 75 to 80 80 of the games 80 of the 82 games that we have because we're paid very handsomely and it's our job to fucking do it all right main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work makeyamove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crookshank your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon